Hey guys, DIY Rob here. So in this video, today I'm going to be working on my Lenovo laptop. Now, this is a five year plus old laptop and it's beginning to show signs of, uh, of old age, even though this has been very well maintained. So I just found out some days ago while out with the laptop that you can see here, there is an hairline crack just here behind the hinge. And this is on the, the cover of the screen. So it just means that there is too much pressure on the on this section for the hinge on the plastic. And this has resulted in a crack that is going to actually continue if I don't do anything about this. So what I'm going to do is to try to open up the laptop and um, try to reinforce the hinge section here behind. I'm sure it's broken because if you look, let's see if I can show you this. Just up here, you can see when I try to close the laptop, there is a curve here. And this is the curve that shows that the hinge is put in force. You can see that the panel is beginning to separate from the one below. And that's not good because I'm going to end up with a broken, a fully broken back cover here. So let's quickly take a look inside and uh, see what's the situation. I'm going to use my set of Chinese bot uh, phone and uh, phone repair tools. It has some pry tools inside. So I'm going to try to open up the screen. So this is a Lenovo G510 and to remove the, to open up and get to behind this screen, I have to pull out this way. So let's get started. Okay, there it goes. The first clip. Okay, it's very strange. It looks like the the crack itself. Okay, it's there. You can see this point here. There is a crack. And that is because the hinge is putting a lot of tension, turning moment force along this line. And that also means that the hinges are too too strong. I'm going to have to to loosen them up a bit, maybe put some oil on them and try to get them to move a little bit easier because there is a, an incredible amount of force here that is causing, you can see that small crack. Okay, so now I have to look for a solution for this to reinforce this whole, this whole section here. I think uh, thanks to the electronic beginner electronic school channel Sorin. I'm going to use hot glue. I have underestimated the the power of hot glue many times, and I've always gotten disappointed. It, it's just an incredibly strong and flexible material, and that's just exactly what I need to take some of the turning force away from this. But also, I have to make sure that the turning force is not that not that strong, and that means loosening up the the hinges or at least oiling them. 
Okay, so I'll be back and when I finally find out what I'm going to do. And obviously, if it's happening here, sooner or later, it's going to also happen on the other side. So I have to do this procedure on both sides. Okay, I'm back. So I had to remove the, the LCD panel here just to make sure that it's safe and doesn't get cracked or develop any other problems. So now what I'm going to do is to work on the hinges a bit. And you can see that it's, it's, a, it's a bit hard to, to close. And anytime I try to close, you can see the pressure on this panel and it lifts up the whole back when I try to, to close. So with a little bit of machine oil, I'm going to try to loosen up those hinges. I can tell that there is a lot of friction because, because dust has gone in after many years of use and the original oil is no longer there. So I've put a piece of paper on the, the hinge mechanism itself so that it will catch any oil going down. now and uh, that's my soldering iron that I used to weld plastic and I'm going to try to weld this crack closed apologies for the sirens and all the noise it's the city noise Okay, so my soldering iron is hot and what I'm going to try to do is to melt the plastic together before I reinforce it with something uh, like a hot glue or something else. So first things first is to try to, to stop the crack from continuing and I'm just going to punch a hole, just a small hole that doesn't come out from the other side just at the end of the crack there. So let me look for the crack. Okay, it looks like the crack ends around here. Okay. So, you can see on this section of the plastic here, it's written recycle symbol then seven don't know if you can see it and this seven means acrylic or nylon or other other forms of plastic I'm going to try to fill in the crack with first with um, a, a piece of nylon or a zip tie I'm sure that zip ties are made of uh, a nylon type of plastic and uh, that should give some some force some uh, strength to the cracked plastic before I pour in something else like hot glue. So first, now I'm going to just simply try to weld this, this crack together. And I'm just punching in small tiny holes right in the middle of the of the crack
this is also going to help create some kind of groove in which I can pour in the material that I want to use to reinforce the, the crack. Now this, this smoke coming out from this plastic is something you absolutely don't want to breathe in. So what I do is I work on it a bit, then hold in my breath, then I move my head to somewhere else where I can get fresh air to breathe in. can already see that as I try to flex it's not that flexible anymore because the crack has been um, somehow uh, somehow fused together so you can see the only section that is opening when I put pressure is this small section here you can see it that's just a small section there that opens because it's still not been still hasn't been welded together Obviously, if you put the right amount of force on this, it's going to crack again because the crack still remains on the under of this weld. So this is why I'm going to still have to fill it up with some material that is going to help take the force away from the crack itself. Okay, let's see now when we flex what happens okay yes it still opens up a bit here because the force is incredible there Okay, so no more flex on that point because I went much deeper into you can see there is no more flex on that point and this is beautiful okay I'm very satisfied with this now. Obviously I'm going to have to clean up this section because the cover is going to try to hinge itself into this section so everything there has to be clean.
just take a look at the back and see if there is anything if there is any see-through okay so the back looks the back looks very very good okay I hope you can see it yes there is still that line because obviously I haven't fused the back there is still that crack but at the back on the other side of this this part it's a bit fused and um, with the right material to take up the slack to take up the turning force of the hinge then I believe that that crack is not going to expand anymore because the because the um, the screen the, the LCD panel the screen is going to be right here sitting here I don't really want to fill up this piece with with a lot of stuff let me see if I can get a small zip tie to fill up a little bit this piece here okay so I found the black zip tie and I'm going to try to melt the plastic onto that section there to be working fine as long as you can read the material that you're working on and try to find something similar or equal then with the right amount of heat you should be able to fuse and fill up that plastic with your material this is really going to help remove a lot of the stress on that crack obviously the crack is still underneath all of this and this is also the reason why I have to fill it up with hot glue or something else hot glue is the best because it's flexible in nature and it can take the, the stress of the hinge and the hinge also had to I had to reduce the amount of force on the plastic part so we are, we are coming at this from all directions to make sure that this repair is successful and I'm going to update the the video to let you know if this is still lasting as a repair
let's try to flex. Okay, so I can see now that... I hope you can see too that when I try to flex this point, I'm flexing it hard now with the finger pushing from on the, on the crack. And it's flexing the whole panel. That is very, very good. And then I'm, I'm going to obviously clean up with a small knife and just smoothen up this this space here. Okay, let's check on the hinges. Okay, they look they look okay. If I'm going to need to reduce the the force on the hinges anymore, I'm going to open this panel and uh, unscrew the hinge from from inside if this is needed. Okay, so let's go back inside the house and and continue this job. I'm still outside and I'm going to try to melt some hot glue onto that section there. I have very little space. So let's see how it goes. I'm just going to let that get dry a bit and come back and fix the cover of the the computer. Um, I mean, fix the screen in into place. So I'm back inside and it's time to start putting everything back together. I'm going to connect the screen connector here. So everything is back in place, the, the hinges have been screwed back into the back cover and I've made sure that all of the grooves in which the front plate is going to enter is uh, are fully free, the cables. And so now you can see there isn't much force on the, on the hinges because we've lubricated them and Let's take a look at that cracked section. There is still some flex, but the welded plastic remains attached. 
Obviously the flex is because we haven't welded the back of the cover. And unfortunately, the crack a little bit swollen up because we were applying heat from the other side. Now you can see it. So the crack is a little bit wider, but obviously it's just crack on the outside because the inside is welded and we have reinforced the section with hot glue so as to take the force of the, the hinge when it rotates in the door. So let's see, now I'm opening it. Let's see what happens when I close the, the lid. You can see that the crack is actually not, not expanding. You can see it's the same size now that I have left the door. Opening the lid. Closing the lid, you can see the crack is still the same size. Because all of the force is mostly taken up by the hot glue, the reinforced section and also, the hinges are a little bit more loose than they were before. So let me put on the faceplate and finish up. And now, while closing, this is the period when it, the hinge actually put a lot of force on the on this section here to widen the crack. And you can see that the crack doesn't widen. And there are still some plastic clips inside here that are making some noise I need to press together. So that's it. Unfortunately, this crack here is going to remain. Maybe I'm going to polish it and... Uh, try to fill it up a bit or weld from the outside too and then um, smoothen it with sandpaper but this this is going to remain the hinge however is incredibly strong now and not only is that section strong but the hinge itself has been um, lubricated so it's much easier to open and the connection to the back cover is much stronger I meant to say so let's switch on the laptop and see if it comes on. And yes, it does, it comes on. So we are fully okay with that. We didn't mess anything up. And uh, it's a bit sad that this crack widened up while I was welding from underneath, but that was a risk to take to get the job done. Uh, if for any reason this expands much big, much wider and I just get tired of looking at it, then obviously it, you can buy a back cover used from another Lenovo similar laptop online. But usually the laptop is docked there, so it's not a problem. This, this is not a problem. I hope this video helps if you have a crack that you need to repair on your laptop or to weld some plastic or lubricate your hinges, then this video should help you. Thanks for watching. Bye.